You've asked for this video in the comments section, I've heard you loud and cleared, and now here it is. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install Webman on your modded PlayStation 3 system. You'll learn how to use Webman to access critical information about your PlayStation 3 system, load this information from the cross media bar or even the internet, and we're starting now. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell to become part of the conversation. The first step in the process is to download the Webman package file. It's hosted on Brewology.com and linked for you in the description below. Scroll down on the linked page until you see the very first listing that you can download. It'll be the most recent version of Webman. Click to download here. Once the download's complete, you'll see a package file in your downloads folder with a really long name on it. At this point, insert a FAT32 formatted USB drive into your computer. Now you can just take that single package file and drag it and drop it directly on the root of the USB drive. Remove the USB drive and insert it into the rightmost USB port on your PlayStation 3 and power on the system. From the cross media bar of your PlayStation 3, navigate to the Games section, and if you're running PS3 HEN, make sure to activate it first. From here, go to the Package Manager and select it with the X button. Then scroll down to Install Package Files and select with X. Then scroll down to Standard and select it with X. That's your USB drive. You'll see the package file listed here. Select it with X to install the package file for Webman to your PlayStation 3. You'll be prompted when the installation process is complete. Then you can just press the circle button to go back to the cross media bar. Use the D-pad to scroll down and you'll see the Webman installer listed in the cross media bar. This gets everything up and running for Webman in your PlayStation 3 system. You can install the whole thing by holding down the left one button, not the trigger, but the shoulder button, and pressing X on the controller at the same time, or install the light version by just pressing the X button. I'm going to do a full install here by holding the left one button on the controller and pressing the X button. The screen will black out for a moment, and your system will restart while Webman is installed to your console. When your system restarts, you should see a message that pops up in the top right corner telling you that Webman is up and running on your console. To start setting up Webman, scroll up until you see Webman Games selected with X, select Webman Setup, and then in the list of menu options that appears, select PS3 Webman Setup with the X button. Webman's browser-based setup page is hosted locally on your PlayStation 3, so no matter whether you're connected to the internet or not, it will work just fine. Some Webman users have reported that their fans on their PlayStation 3 fire up to nearly 100% when they first install Webman. I didn't run into that, but if you do, let me show you what to do to fix it. In the top left corner of the browser setup window, you'll see settings for fan speed. If your fans are going crazy on you, click on the radio button that says SysCon. This will change it back to the standard system configuration for fan speed. Then come down to the bottom of the page and click save, and your fans should go right back to normal. Ah, that's better. Let's take a look at what's in the left navigation, item by item. Any games that you've previously dumped to your PlayStation 3 will be shown here. We'll look at how to dump your game disk to your hard drive using Webman in just a moment. Next up in the left navigation is Files. If you click on the Files button, you'll be able to access the files and folder structure on your PlayStation 3. The PS3 map settings are generally best left to advanced users because you can make settings changes here that can damage your PlayStation 3 if you're not careful. Next is the setup menu, and we've looked at the fan speed already, but there are other settings that you can adjust here. And finally, the CPU RSX tab gives you information about your CPU, your GPU, your fan speed, memory, and other key components. And in the top navigation, you can refresh the settings in Webman, eject a disk, insert a disk, restart your PlayStation 3, or shut down your system. Press the circle button to go back to the cross media bar and you'll be presented with more options for Webman. Generally speaking, a lot of the choices that you'll see here are also accessible through the web-based interface for Webman. Rather than go through these one by one, I'd say take the time to go through these on your own PlayStation 3. You'll find many of them are similar, but there are a few choices here that aren't necessarily available in the browser experience. And there was one other option listed underneath the Webman games which was PlayStation 3. If you come down here and just click on this with the X button, this will also show you the list of games that you have pre-installed and ready to run. One of the great features of Webman is that you can access critical system information right from the XMB. 
Press the start and select button together and you'll get a pop-up in the top right corner with CPU, GPU, temperatures, and other information. Make note of your IP address here because we're going to put it to work in just a moment. I found this to be one of the most useful functions of Webman. Press and hold the select button for three seconds and you'll get what's called the VSH menu. Just like with the pop-up menu, the VSH menu also gives you access to critical system information. But it also gives you immediate access to menu choices that you would typically find in system setup or in the larger list of text available in the XMB. One of the things I found in the VSH menu that I couldn't seem to find anywhere else was access to a menu choice for dumping your games from your disk directly to your hard drive. Along with the mounting and unmounting options for disks, fan speeds, and other things, if you scroll down to number 5, you'll see a listing here that will let you back up your disk to your hard drive. If you use this, it will allow you to play your games directly off your hard drive, no disk required inside Webman. And to close the VSH menu, just press and hold the select button for up to 3 seconds again. Did you remember to note your IP address earlier? If not, you know how to find it now. Go to your web browser on your computer and you can access Webman directly on your PS3 from your browser. Type in your IP address into your browser's navigation bar and then press the return button on your keyboard. Then you can access many of the same functions from the setup in your web browser just like you would if you were natively on your PlayStation 3, including check this out. You can even launch your games on your PlayStation 3 right from your browser. With nothing more than a click on the game title, you'll be up and running on your favorite games on your PlayStation 3 through remote launch. There are a lot more amazing things you can do on your PlayStation 3 once it's modded. Check out this video here, shown on screen and linked in the pinned comment and description below for more great PlayStation 3 content.